participants of today's seminar, they were representatives, both employers and uh, employees. And the idea to organize this uh, seminar was uh, to get the feedback on the first uh, results of the survey on development of teaching profession in times of crisis. The commission says uh, education, development and that kind of things have to be the priority. It's probably the opposite of what governments do in the nation states. I think it is primarily at the national level where we have the problems. It's with the ministries, with the ministers and, and, and the governments and stakeholders and especially teachers should be consulted when uh, we are talking about reforms. We as social partners have the responsibility to help making sure that our schools are excellent learning communities with professional teachers. And the challenge is of course to equip all teachers, not just some for effective learning in this 21st century. For my country we have a big problem how to uh, continue to, how to keep uh, on making uh, professional development when we are uh, in front of a lack of money. The economic crisis has brought along uh, social crisis and very many families have to work long hours. They have not uh, enough quality time for their children and that's why teachers are the ones who have to find time to listen to them. I think really there is a need to do something to improve the status uh, of the teaching profession in Europe. That would be my personal conclusion. The education system needs new people, so it's, it's very good to think about how to attract them and what's holding them back. There are a few countries where the profession is very prestigious, it's like Finland or Ireland for instance, but in many other countries the teachers themselves but also other stakeholders think that this image of the teaching profession in the society is not as good as it used to be. One of the things that I spoke about today is the development of a professional learning community in a school. And this has a couple different benefits. A professional learning community is where teachers have the opportunity to share a vision for learning at their school, um, to open up their practice and reflect on their practice with other teachers at the school and to collaborate in deep and meaningful ways. In this time of economic crisis, it's often difficult for schools to send teachers out of the school for professional learning activities. It's too expensive, they can't afford the supply teachers to take over. And if there's a professional learning community at the school where teachers are working together with the goal of improvement, this alleviates the need to send them out of school on expensive professional development where they're not even in their own context. Our role as social partners is to make sure that the skills of our teachers, our professors, our researchers and our school leaders are excellent, are up to date and modern. We're going to campaign throughout the whole next year intensively on quality in education, quality in public education and on the teaching profession. I believe that this collaboration between unions together with the employers can be very fruitful.